Welcome back to the film room. Today we are talking about Kingsley and Igbarre, the South Carolina edge rusher who went in the fifth round, 179th overall to the Green Bay Packers. He was projected as high as, you know, late first at one point during the draft season, you know, mid second, late second, and then somehow fell all the way down into the very bottom of the fifth round. So today we're going to look at his tape. We're going to look at his 2020 game against Tennessee from what I saw as regarded as his best game in college. And we're going to see what maybe contributed to his fall and see his strengths, weaknesses, and everything in between. So before we get into the film, though, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. It helps the channel out a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on Inbari down below and also suggest more prospects I should feature in the future. So without any further ado, though, let's get into the tape. So here's our first play, and he's actually going to be lined up at Mike right here. And he's going to creep down a little bit, and he's going to get, you know, a nice rush here. And you're going to see him creep down kind of to the edge. He's going to get a good rush against this guard, beat the running back as well, and then finish for the big sack. And I think this is a really good play, good display of his power. And we'll talk about more of his, you know, all of his all-around rush moves later. But, you know, this is a good play against this guard. I don't think that's Trey Smith. I think Trey Smith was their left guard. But, I, you know, still great rep. You know, used his power, got past him. The running back's hitting him too. And still, he's able to get there and finish for the sack. And just a lot of effort on this play, even though it was a longer play, still, you know, got home and got there. Now, we're going to see a good example of his explosiveness. He's going to shed inside here for this tackle for loss. And you'll see him. I mean, just a good example. He's going to get around this guy, get to the running back, and make a crucial stop there. Very impressed with this play. And I was very impressed with his run defense overall during this game as you know you're gonna see him he's gonna be pretty quick out of his stance and just you know get there beat the tackle rip around and just be ready in that cutback lane to swallow up the running back when he gets to him now here's our next play and this is gonna be a weird one but we're just gonna kind of see what he can do with his effort as a guy you know rushing off the edge is this tackle is gonna handle him as you're gonna see right now pretty well and right here I mean this play should be over but his teammate on the other side is gonna kind of wrap up the quarterback and he's gonna have the awareness and the motor to chase him down and get credit for probably half a sack here and this is just a great effort play and his effort and motor definitely impressed me throughout this game he may not have the best you know refined hand usage or speed or I mean he's got pretty solid power and you know solid explosiveness but Seeing this effort and this motor throughout the play, I mean, because look, I mean, he's going to get beat here. I mean, he's pushed, you know, completely backwards, but he's given an opportunity here with a long play and, you know, the guard's not ready or the tackle, I mean, and that's going to be a big sack for him, at least a half. So he's going to get one and a half, you know, so far in this game. Now we're going to look at another good, you know, example of his motor. He's going to shed pretty early and just have to but it's going to get out of the backfield and he's gonna have to chase this down you know past the line of scrimmage it's going to get there make the tackle again not a crazy play but i like seeing this motor for him as he's going to be a guy that's going to be lower on their depth chart and you know as a late round pick you got to put in this kind of effort and work and you got to prove every rep on the field that you're giving it 100 percent. and i think he definitely does that to a pretty pretty good level now we're going to see kind of a negative example of something that i think happened a fair amount in this game and against double teams or even sometimes just against one guy he can get pushed completely out of the play that's going to be a double team and sometimes he's just not going to be able to make an impact he just gets kind of stonewalled a lot as he doesn't have much I and mean, this is a run play but even in pass pro he doesn't have much in his arsenal as ter in terms of moves or ways to get around guys so i think that definitely comes and kind of bites him in the butt here as you know that's you know gonna be a touchdown run again not like his fault that they scored a touchdown but you'd like to see him have a little better you know reps against double teams and be able to fight him off more often i know that's only one play but just you'll have to take my word for it it happened a lot of times and i you know, just don't you know it's not fun to show those every time now here is going to be a really good swipe kind of to get around this tackle and get attacked for loss Again, his run defense was very impressive. He's just going to get around this tackle very well, get into the backfield, and just have a one-on-one -on -one with his running back. This guy's also set the other edge very well. They just kind of broke this play down, and they're going to, you know, tag team him there for the big stop. You're going to see, and he's celebrating too, as he should. I like his confidence out there, but he's he has some good sack celebrations until he's into it. I think they ended up losing this game, but, you know, it was very close. And this is another really good play in run defense for him. And now here's going to be another example of a negative this is our second one he's gonna get just a little too hasty upfield he's lined up at the edge there and it's gonna be a read option and the quarterback's gonna keep it at least it looks like a read option 
and he's gonna have a one-on-one -on -one. he made the right read the quarterback did not make the right read but he's just gonna stop on a dime and he's gonna he's gonna go flying he kind of gets his ankles broken there that's a rough one still gonna be a short game the defense not gonna allow him very much but again he gets a little hasty upfield trying to get a big hit and just chases him too far you know you can see him reaching out kind of with his head down and is gonna be the victim of an ankle breaker there rough one but again didn't happen very often i think his run defense was very good and now he's going to be lined up right here on the edge and this is going to be you know them trying to get a stop to end this game and i really love how he ids this play the whole way through you'll see he's on this tight end he sees you know he sees this play the whole way they're giving it to this guy on the motion and he's just going to rip through this tight end get around him and just make you know a tough tackle in space on a guy that's you know you know that his whole i mean this is a receiver a running back who is you know getting the ball in open space that's what he's you know a receiver and running back that's what they're doing he's a defensive end and he's going to be able to just stop him in open space obviously his guys are there to help him but this is a great great play and a really good indicator of him at the next level again good celebration that's that's what we like to see and i just loved this play i think this was his best rep of the game i know he had a sack and then like a half sack but this one he pretty much owned this rep all the way through just dominated that tight end stopped on a dime to get this guy doesn't get his ankles broken this time it makes a really good play and now here's our last play it's going to be another good stop and he's just going to have another really good shed against the run and just get this running back for you know a short gain if any and that's just another great play i think he's going to be a contributor in run defense early and uh, this is another just play i'm very happy with seeing him shed these interior linemen tight ends and just i think that's that same tight end again just gonna beat him up and you know get a very very nice play here at the end of the game gave their offense a chance to score if they didn't but you gave them a chance so let's wrap it up with kingsley and igbare i think a fifth round pick was about his value as much as you know i wanted to believe that early round hype at least in this game i didn't see any example of him using his hands well or any you know kind of finesse or anything in that department he has solid power it didn't blow me away like some of these other prospects i've seen like maybe like a sam williams really were able to get into guys chests and just move them off the line even like nicobe dean is able to do that at times who i just did a video on but didn't impress me too much but his run defense was very good so not much in the pass rushing department yet obviously can develop but i loved his run defense i love what he brought there and as a contributor just as a rotational guy to help and hopefully run situations maybe develop into a pass rush guy as well but as depth for the packers i remember at the time before i really looked into him i thought this was a steal because you see him projected you know in probably the second round third round maybe fourth early fourth at the very latest and they get him at the very bottom of the fifth so practically almost a sixth round pick at that point so i thought it was great value and i think it's still a good pick it wasn't a bad pick by any means but he needs to improve his pass rushing as a whole and just get some better technique i mean not that it's terrible he has potential and maybe this is just not his best pass rushing game again small sample size for this video but from all that i've seen didn't impress me a ton in that regard but i still think he has a lot of potential and could definitely develop into being a great player at the nfl level again great 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 run defender but that's going to wrap it up for today let me know what you think of kingsley and igbare packers fans especially let me know what you think of that draft as a whole because i've got a video on christian watson out and you know we'll probably get to more packers draft picks as the offseason goes on but thank you for watching make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed greatly appreciate it, it would help out the channel a ton suggest more prospects down below and i will see you guys in the next one peace